Hello campers and welcome to Camp Indiana Spring 2021. I'm so happy to have you here with me at the State House Education Center. And this year we are talking all about nature and Indiana State Parks. So today we're gonna talk about Turkey Run State Park. Now Turkey Run, it's located in Marshall, Indiana, and it is such a, it's a stinking cool place to go. Turkey Run opened in 1916 as Indiana's second state park. It was opened in celebration of Indiana's centennial. So we celebrated our bicentennial a couple of years ago. This was 100 years, Indiana got a new state park. So hiking through Turkey Run is like going back in time. You can see the layers of uh, rock as you travel through the park. Now the Turkey Run is known for these huge ravines made out of Mansfield sandstone. And you walk through these ravines which were created by glaciers thousands of years ago. And the glaciers came through and eroded that rock into these huge ravines or these runs that you can walk through. And there's beautiful waterfalls and everything going through these. And what's really cool is that Turkey Run is constantly changing because it is constantly, that sandstone is constantly being eroded. So it used to be eroded kind of quickly as far as rocks go by uh, glaciers. But today, wind and water go through and that's a big way on how you erode stone. So it's always changing and there's always so many cool things that you can see at Turkey Run. I keep saying Turkey Run, that's such a silly name, don't you think? You know, there's tons of t different stories about where the term Hoosier came from. There's about just as many stories about where we got Turkey Run. However, the most popular story comes from the animal itself. So the area once had a large population of wild turkey. And the wild turkey way would live down at the bottom of these ravines and these runs because it kept them out of the weather. It kept them a little bit warmer during the winter time. Hunters would come in and it was easy to herd these turkey into one specific place to maybe get your dinner. So that's where the name Turkey Run comes from. Now, I don't know very much if there's uh, wild turkeys living there right now or not, if there's a whole bunch of them. I've seen them up at my place, but I'm not close to Turkey Run. Um, there's a whole lot of things you can do if you go and visit Turkey Run. Uh, there is the famous suspension bridge that goes over Sugar Creek, which is such a cool place to see Indiana nature. There are uh, over 14 miles of hiking trails, guided horseback riding, canoeing, and kayaking. And there's several historical sites on the land. Now, it's such a cool place to go out and see nature. Now, I'm gonna give a shout out for our next project. Miss Renee here at the Education Center. I don't know anybody who loves nature more than Miss Renee, and she found some of the coolest pieces of nature outside at her home to create a cool shelter uh, for like an animal, um, almost like a little fairy house. It's super cool and I'm gonna be inserting some video of it here where you can check out all of the pieces of nature that she used to create a really cool house. She's got flowers and some moss, these leaves and sticks from outside. Um, there's some, even little babies on there that are super cute. And uh, it seems like at your home, Miss Renee, the animals have already taken to it. Your cat is a real big fan of the nature uh, shelter that she created. So I wanna encourage you guys to go out, go out into nature where you can take things, maybe your yard, um, and you can take things home and create a shelter of your own that you can show off. I would love to see those on our social media right here. Uh, we would love to see those. And I'm so happy you guys joined us today to talk about Turkey Run. Thanks, and we'll see you next time. Bye.